Jump up. <gasps> Something in the bush. Melon with teeth. Oh no. Opinion. He's back. Take him down. 
Sure, Morgers. Stone boy. A bird. Bast, I've started playing a gacha game. Are you proud of me? came out on Steam, but I think has been out already. Tower of... <laughs> Fantasy. Yeah. Well, that takes care of that. I was like, it's Genshin Impact, but now I can record how many hours I've wasted. And I picked the best time to play it when I have no money. Win win. That's it, mate. Oh, really? Game so broken. Or how, should I say? Not, not why. spot. The view here is breathtaking. It certainly doesn't feel like a checkpoint, that's for sure. Actually, I hear that a lot of visitors come here to see the waterfall. <coughs> really? Ruin sure has a lot of nice places, huh? I can understand why the Duke would want to live here. Agreed. But I think Roland is also a nice, relaxing place to live. Oh, you've been to Roland? Yes, I've been to all five of the great cities. Oh, that's right, Zeus is up ahead. You'd be surprised how charming it is. Hmm. Really? Sounds like we're in for some fun. Alright, why don't we get the paperwork started then? Okay. Hey, welcome to the air Latin checkpoint. If you want to get set up to go through, head to the camera site inside. Good afternoon, how may I be of assistance? We were wondering what had to be done to obtain permission to enter Zace. Ah, okay then, step right up, I'll take care of you. Beware though, once you once your procedures have been done, you will not be able to... Blah, blah, blah. You okay with that? On second thought, well just let me know when you change your mind. I'm pretty sure I've done everything. Thank you. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, please. Then please start by sending documents. Stan and Joshua sign the names documents. All right, everything looks to be in order. Is the young lady there not joining you? Oh, I only came to see them off. Ah, very well then. You'll be able to accompany them as far as the mouth of Chaldea Tunnel. Thank you very much. What's the Chaldea Tunnel? It is the main road that joins this checkpoint to Zeus. path is a long tunnel that passes directly through Chaldea Hill. Wow, an underground road. That'll definitely be a first for me too. Wow, this is amazing. Huh, so the waterfall comes from a man-made river. I think it's called the Lohoth Waterway. It was made a very long time ago. Yes, and it's linked directly to the Valeria Lakeshore. Pretty impressive given that they did it without any ornaments to help. So what's that over there? That's the entrance of the tunnel, I think. Yeah. So I guess this is a goodbye. Yes. So you're going to be travelling around the kingdom, right? Might be able to meet again in Grandsil. Really? I'll be going back there when the Queen's birthday celebration starts. Some of my relatives will be there, so I have to join them. That's just a month away, isn't it? I think we may actually be in Grandsil around that time. So then, once you're done with your family stuff, contact the Grandsil Guild bunch. If you do, we can try to meet up. Certainly will. Still and Joshua, can't thank you enough. I won't ever forget everything that you've done for me. Come on, don't be so formal. We're in your debt as well, for many reasons. Let's hear it for even. What a thing to say. When when we confronted the mayor, I said some terrible things. You care for no one but yourself, but I was no different. Huh? I've been running away from the reality of my own situation for a while now. To the orphanage and to the academy. But the two of you taught me something. You helped me find the courage to hold my head high, and find the strength to protect what matters. Because of you, I know how to be brave. Uh, I don't really get it, but if we were able to help you, I'm happy. Oh, uh, cheer up, okay? We'll see each other again in Grand Soul. Yes, absolutely. Re- <laughs> Maybe we'll get CC to there too, right? Re- That was a joke. I mean, Grand Soul's pretty far away. I don't think those wings would hold. Besides, your home is here. Bree? Oh, Sieg isn't just any bird, you know. I think he'll be there. I'm sure. Haha, uh -huh. Sieg's just full of surprises, isn't he? Well then, should we be off? Yeah. Hey, good luck to both of you on your journey. And I'll be praying for you to find your father. Bree? Thank you. <laughs> you two take care. Yes, I think so too. We'll see them again. Sorry to keep you waiting, Chloe. Miss Julia, you done with your duties at Laceton Fortress? Yes, longer than I anticipated. Part of my rudeness, but I've come to get your report on the incident. Thank you for your service. Re. Hey now, settle down, Sieg. You've been fulfilling your duty as escort. Re. <laughs> He's always been very helpful. It's not right, Sieg. Re. He's certainly chipper. Their cell is stopped at the end of the highway. You're to report in there. Understood. I'll be leaving school for a while. I need to say goodbye to my teachers before returning to Grantsville. Stella Joshua. I'll take what you taught me and show you that I can be strong. Stronger than you. Ugh. I played too fast. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. I just got the feeling that someone was coming. Huh? Someone in here other than us? Hmm. Guess not. Yeah. Sorry, must have imagined it. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I think you still got a little crush on Flubby. Huh? What makes you say that? Oh, don't be shy. You know I can read you like a book. It's not unreasonable at all. You did, um, kiss her during the play. What if she asked you to come back? 
You'd say yes, right? I guess you didn't notice them. Notice what? The last scene. That was just for show, you know. It was staged just so it would look like a real case of buildings. What? You really can completely you really can be completely clueless sometimes. It was written right there in the script notes. Oh um ha ha ha. I see. Note to self, do not insert foot into mouth. But why do I feel so relieved? Um, Estelle, you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Come on, come on, Zeiss awaits. The incest arc is still alive. Moggers. and get the incest ending best. This is a lot of healing items. Just saying. See now anyway, hey lol. Alright, we're good to go. Alright, we're good to go. Sus. <clears throat> we just don't move.
Okay. Oh, excuse me. There's a bunch of ways we can go in here. Oh, we're actually gonna launch pretty soon. This way? Yeah. against the wall. Side area. Yeah, yeah. This is the side area. Might as well kill some shit because we're so close to leveling up. Stop you and Exactly the right amount of damage. Okay, Joshua dinged. I 
I just need one more. Oh, shit. Huff, huff. Uh, I've got to hurry. Huh? Someone's coming this way. Oh. Good afternoon. What's the, what's, where's the fire? Good, good afternoon. Um, you took, taking this road too? Well, yeah. Have you seen any lights that weren't working? Lights along the tunnel wall, I mean. Hmm, sorry, if there are, I haven't noticed any. All the lights we passed were still on, but we did pass one that's flickering. There's two rivers between it and there. That's it. Yeah, it's just like I thought. Sorry, I had to hurry. Where is she from Zeus? Strange little kid. She seemed awfully flustered. Hmm, now I'm kinda worried. Hey, you wanna try following her? You read my mind. I don't like the idea of a little girl wandering around here by herself. We should catch up to her and stick close. Alright, come on, let's hurry. Gummy juice. Whoa! That's Earth Guard. Goodbye. Oh. Wait, when did you get so low health? It's still alive. See flickering lights. Rusty Ronga, please. We know all about them Rusty Rongas. Stop bewitching me.
Crystal's awake again. Good. There are so many of them. It's gonna be. It's gonna break it this way. Maybe this. Bearing set, angle of elevation 20 degrees. Orbital compression at 30%. Go. If you come any closer, then I won't miss next time. I mean it. Oops. I think that might have made them angrier. Talk later, get back. I've got to get rid of these things first. Hellgate. 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 Gummy juice. <laughs> Big stone. scary. Um, thank you very much. I thought I was gonna for sure. Oh, well, the important thing is that you're safe. You really should be more careful. Stirring up monsters in a, is a surefire way to get yourself eaten. But if I'd left them alone, they probably would have broken that light. Speaking of which, why would those things go after the lights anyway? Don't they do the same thing when the highway lights are switched out? Except doing those circuits is monsters' favourite food. Highway lights work to keep monsters away. When they stop working, they have the exact opposite effect. Ah, uh, I get it. Still, you shouldn't mess with stuff like that. Septium might be their favorite food, but little girls probably rank for a second. Oh, sorry. Very easy there. Giving a nightmare is the saying, don't do that, isn't exactly going to score you any points. Oh, don't be such a wet blanket. Anyway, my name's Estelle, and I'm Joshua. We're racers affiliated with the guild. Ah, oh, so that's why you're so tough. I'm Tita. I work as an apprentice at the Central Factory. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Well then, Tita. We're heading to Zace, so do you want to join us first of the way? That's right, you don't want to be around here. The monster show up again. Really? Thank you. Would you mind waiting for a little bit? I've got to get that light fixed. Yeah, it's probably risky to leave like that. How in the world did you know it burned out though? Well, I was lucky enough to notice a problem when I was looking in the computer database. It seems like a defective unit was installed here by mistake. Ah, alright. It's a good thing you caught it when you did. Computer database? Oomph. <laughs> okay, that should do it. Sorry it took so long. Wow, colour me impressed? Well, if she's an apprentice at the Central Factory, she has to be good. Oh, wow, well, I didn't do anything special. I just fixed the quartz connection and adjust the orbital pressure. 
Well, it sure sounds special. Not that big a deal. Um, okay, how to explain this. Each orbit has a quartz circuit inside, and if that isn't properly connected, the orbital energy inside the unit will have nowhere to go. As a result, the orbit won't be able to function properly. This happens sometimes with the hybrid lights, which means they're ready to give out light, and what if monsters can prize? Just stop! Maybe you should save this place for after we get on the road. I mean, if we stand around too long, monsters, you know. Yeah, I guess so. I was just wrong, not too. <sighs> well, why don't you set- why don't we set up his eyes then? Okay. Yes, sir. Joshua prefers bro. <laughs> da, 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 da. Smoke cannon. Get the weed. Odd oh, ball. Play ball. Capture the flag. All right, we're good to go. She has AoE attacks. Very nice. Oh. Turn on this here. So is that? 
That means the entrance is nice. This I just I just got this text. Hey mum, I recently moved over to O2, so I have a new number. Okay, message me on a number. Please X. I'm a mother. I'm oh my god. I'm so happy. It's a dream come true. Central Factory. I'm excited to see it. Central Factory is a pride and joy Zeiss it's, since it's an industrial city. Zeiss. I'm going to go with Zeiss. I had heard it was big, but that's about all I really know. Oh yeah, it's really huge. Anyone who's not used to the layout could get lost in a hurry. <laughs> that's a creepy thought. I'm beginning to weather, uh, worry whether or not we'll really be able to make it to the guild. Well, the city's up on the first floor. I'll show you how to get there. Thanks. Well, let's go in. Well, who's this mysterious guy? Okay, that makes eight cans. Check and double check. Just checking on the factory. this place. Wow, it looks like almost the entire factory is completely automated. He, he, below the city there are lots of orbit factories. They make everything from lights to airship parts. It's awesome. A little overwhelming, but awesome. <sighs> I wonder what he's doing right now. Okay, enough of that. Get ahead in the job, girl. Good night, girl. Oh, there's only an emergency staircase to that door. If you want to go up to the ground floor, just go back the way you came and straight down the hall. Did you know that I'm a mother, Bast? Okay, what's this room? This is the elevator. Take us from the basement to the roof. Hmm, can't say if I've ever seen one of these outside of the mines. And this one seems super high tech. Huh, well, this is Zace. Since this is the central factory, I'm sure they have quite a few of these. They have more than one. He he, so that is model two. Maximum weight capacity, 50 Torum. Can handle even heavy industrial equipment, no problem. I don't entirely get it, but it sure sounds impressive. How do we get it to move? Oh, you just pick which floor you want it on the panel. Let's see, you want to go into the city, right? Yes, can you take us up to the first floor? Okay. Whoa. the size of this place. This is the central factory's main floor. It's where the reception desk and con consumer maintenance windows are. I see. So we can get out uh, to town from here. Oh, Tita. Miss Hazel? There you are. Supervisor Travis has been looking for you. He'd like you to go straight to the operations room. Oh, okay. I will. Uh-oh. Sounds urgent. Thank you for showing us around. It's no big deal. It's the least I can do after you beat up those monsters for me. Well, we're going to be in Zeiss for a little while. Would you mind if we stop by to see you again? I, I'd love that. Bye then. 
<laughs> what a sweet kid. I get the impression that she's a lot tougher than she looks. I agree. <sighs> I always wanted a sweet, lovable little sister like her. Instead of, my add, an obnoxious little brother. Keep saying things like that, but you're the one who's always following me around. I'm gonna be more like a real little sister and you need to get your head out of the clouds every now and then. <sighs> Look who's talking. Anyway, all sibling rivalries aside, I'm heading to the city. Yeah, first I'd like to switch assignments in the guild. Plus we can see if there's any new information on the old one or dad. Sounds like a plan. The Incest Diaries. Hello. What new ports have we got? HP3. Evade 3. Bong Hellgate. all of your food. I don't know that though. Or that. Oh, what's this? Some kind of moving 
long staircase. It is a really long climb, so I guess it would be tough without it. Yeah, but to have the whole thing moving underneath you, this place has been full of surprises ever since we got here. No kidding. Zoom in. Hundred and sixty nine defense. Decisions, decisions. Do I want a balanced general used balanced general use weapon or do I want to ace in the whole cannon? I wonder why I just both stop wasting time worrying. Granddad Hotel. Alright, let's head for the guild. Hi there, partners. 
Um, see, we're finally here, you see. Estelle, Joshua, welcome to Zace. Huh? You know us? I won't even breathe through your eye from Jean at the ruined branch. Girl with chestnut hair tied into a penny tails and a boy with black hair and amber eyes. That is you, is it not? I okay. My name is Kilika. Zace, welcome to your service. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh, uh, same here. Pleasure's ours. I know you've only just started, but I'd like to proceed with the formalities of changing your affiliation. You have to sign these documents. What? Okay. Stell and Joshua sign the assignment change forms? I should do it. And you're both now affiliates of the Zace Regional Guild. There are no urgent matters that you seem to currently. You're going to check the bottom board and work at your own pace. That's kind of disappointing, but hey, a little peace and quiet can, can be a good thing. Alright, oh, I had a question to ask. About Cassius, correct? She can read minds. Did Jean tell you about him too? Whole sword didn't matter. So I to say I'd have to say that Cass is not currently in the Zace region. He only stops in every few months or so. <sighs> Figures. That just leaves Grant's all, or maybe. I believe I might be able to provide you with a lead in another matter. Please take this. Attention factory chief. What's this? It's a letter of introduction to the head of the central factory, one Mr. Murdoch. He's basically like the mayor of the Zace region. Is this in regards to the matter of the Black Orphan? Stories of the Mayor's residence paint it as a very mysterious item. I'd suggest that you consult with the factory chief and see what he has to say. Wow, you've really got this all planned out. Do you have some nice superpower, Kilika? Vibus provides support for bracers such as yourself. I simply device it, decipher the intelligence that's provided and pass it on as the mandates of my job require. Wow. Really appreciate your assistance. I think nothing of it. I trust that you will return to assist us should a major incident occur. Uh, you can count on us when the time comes. Well, do you want to go ahead and see the factory chief? Sounds good to me. bed. Hold on my nap. Oh, yeah, okay, got it. I'm not busy right now. I'll talk to you later. She's just so lazy. You need to look at this place. a little while ago, <laughs> while well, we had just come in to change assignments, so we were ready for work. 
Well, should we get started then? Yes. That's fine. It's about hiring the temp librarian, right? That's fine. It turned out to be much more of an ordeal than expected. What kind of ordeal? I'll explain that in a moment. Beforehand, though, I have a matter that I would like for you to help settle. Consider it a favour, if you will. What kind of matter are you referring to? The archives loaned out some books to various central factory departments. Sometimes they keep them past the due date and don't pay the fees. First, I'd like to get our books back. Well, that's simple. Where do we need to go? Let's see. It should be in the third floor design room and the fourth floor lab and clinic. Third floor design room, fourth floor lab and clinic. Got it. Is that everything? Yes. Please come back once you have them. Okay, we will. Start immediately. <coughs> Up we go then. the other books. Come again? What other books? You're just a liar. See if somebody left a book on the roof. Done. No, I'm good with you. 
Good, now we have all the books again. I thank you for your assistance. Uh, no big deal. Don't have any issues. It's good to hear. In that case, perhaps I should go ahead and ask for your help with my favorite type of work. Well, that's right, we managed to have some significant problems somewhere along the line. What kind of work is it? Just like the horror, we need some Irvidian materials returned. The book in question is called the Irv Woodpecker. I'm looking at that. Right, Irv Woodpecker. So it's a book on birds, right? Is there any clues for us? Yes, as a matter of fact. Take a look at this. Approach the Man of Stone, standing in silence within the mountain village pond, and you shall receive. Okay, I've read that down. But what the heck is it? It was written on a card uh, that was taken from the book. I recognize it's some kind of hint as to its whereabouts. Hint of bad poetry, maybe. So, is any bored because somebody with way too much time on their hands wanted to hide somewhere? Evidently so. It's sort of, it's the sort of trick that researchers used to find each other long ago. No idea what would possess someone to hide a book of all things. We certainly have our fair share of unusual characters. Not surprising that any of them might follow such a bizarre custom. Anyway, leave this matter in your capable hands. Please bring the book back. Hey, hold on a sec. This is the only we have. Afraid so. The guild sent you, so I have every confidence in your ability. Well, that's just awesome. Understood. It'll be difficult work, but we'll do all we can. We have to search every nook and cranny in Zace, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'll wait in here. When you do find it, please bring it back to me. <sighs> Let's get this show on the road then. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you again. Mountain Village. Maybe Elma. No. Trapped planes. A. Look at that! It's a fluffy Sam! It's a Shiroyama! White Mountain. What? What are you all about? Oh. Alright, we're good to go. Good job, Bast. Uh, I was just testing you. You passed.
party right. You're welcome. You're a cub. What is that? Oh, the snake from behind it did not look like a snake. Uh, no, that's fine, mate. Not a problem. But you know, I'll probably still be asking um, you guys. It's always so. Uh, it's not not a problem. Mate. Ding dong, as the kids say. <laughs> what a legend! I'm the same, mate. I haven't had it yet. I'm a meme. Hi Bass, I'm a mean. a few of them. Creepy sheep. Just gonna put this on, on top of us, just have a feeling. He's gone loco. On Loco again. That's quite a few enemies, isn't it, Bass?
first I can hit is three, it looks like. Hey, loco! Machine gun. Well, he's trying to stand me, so let's go kill the other one. Oh. I know, that's dead too. Did you have a blue lobster bastard? That. Why is there more Sams? Yes. It's Sam in camouflage. Sam in camouflage. Down doesn't matter. Dirty Kara, what a dirty little Kara. Spring egg. Goodbye. Fluffy minging egg. Veggie pot weed.
nearby bin somewhere. Statue, yeah. Oh, is this the statue? Oh. Sweet Caroline. Du -du -du. on an ant. Ooh, Rax is trying undecember. We know you're alive. What? The, what was that about? He's playing dead. Fucking kill him. Oh. 
Oh no. I've been surprised by a demonic rabbit. to exterminate here somewhere. Is this still Trap Plains Road? Oh, it is. In fact, okay, let's, let's run the road real quick, in case it is actually here. It is not... High mark. Cider, we had drunk mothers. What are these guys supposed to do damage? Well, <laughs> I'm going to do that so it gives us much as much chance of us hitting all four with Ariel. Physical attacks are still an option. Oh. Oh, she's gonna quit.
is a Hellgate. Some more on December beta. Sorry, just uh, just for being extra safe. Well, I suppose that's what uh, that's what the bait is for, isn't it? Easy money. No BS of running out of time with all this poor shit. Get the job out there, get it done. to progress. Yep, you betcha. Bought your book. Please take a look to be certain. Oh my, this is indeed the right book. Thank you for it. <laughs> like there was ever any doubt. To be honest, I thought it was going to be a wild goose chase. I'm quite impressed that you actually managed to find it. Now I know I can leave the rest of the work in your hands. Right. Wait, what? What rest of the work? There's more? Traditionally, the research is something. This leaves us with two still yet to be found. Uh, I'll tell you. This is definitely the first I've heard of it. Hmm, how old? We already aboard the ship, so to speak. So I hope I can count on your full support until the end. Well, I guess so, but you mean we have to deal with another unhinged person's idea of the game? Speaking of which, it's just like Back of Ruin. No need to worry. The next book's hint has no words. Uh, really? The proof is in the pudding, as the saying goes. See for yourself. Gotta be kidding. No comments or anything. The name of the book in question is Hertz's Adventure the Second. Hertz Adventure the Second, got it. And in the first part remains in the library, so it gets quite frustrating having to listen to patrons ask about the super constantly. 
Well, I hope this gets you far to find it. Lovely. And the brain teaser to figure out. I take back what I said about the stupid food tree. I'd much rather do that. Oh well, either way, we'd still be stuck trying to puzzle it out. Well, best of luck. I'll be waiting here as always. Alright, better be off then. We'll be back with the book before you know it. So it's in the middle of four somethings. Like we're gonna do this. We're just gonna cheat. Escalator. What are you fuck? Fuck it. I lied. It's drum and bass. What you gonna do, bitch? guy the mayor or whatever oh you were the ones with Tita before no welcome to the central factory can I help you we're from the brace guild we'd like to meet with the factory head if you may so I reach into her pouch pulls for a dramatic effect then flourish the introduction note to meet the factory chief Joshua sure looks stoic and turns to all his eyes. Uh, I see. Just a moment, please. He's using the intercom, keeping one wary eye on the style of the what will well. Sir? Terry, sorry to bother you, Junior. Yes. Yes, sir. The people from the Bracey Guild are. Yes, sir, right away. Thank you for waiting. Back to Chief Murdoch, see you now. His office is upstairs on the second floor. Nice, I didn't think he'd say it so quickly. I'll keep him waiting. Is it? Archives? Maybe it's this one? Oh. Ah. Hey, I've been waiting for you two. It's still on Joshua, right? Hang on a minute. This looks suspiciously like the ma the mayor from the other mayor down war. Uh, yeah, it's nice to meet you, sir. Sorry to bother you at work like this. No, don't worry yourselves about that. Bracer Guild and Cassius in particular have done a great deal for me in the past. Be rid of me not to fuck with his children. Huh? You know Dad? I guess you might say that. 
who is my benefactor. It's no exaggeration to say that the Central Factory produces the finest ornaments in the land. Naturally, the confrontations over our craft have probably stopped. Whenever we had a problem, we'd always contact the Roland branch and have them come over. Uh, I see. <laughs> that explains all the business trips then. And now my benefactor's kids come to visit me themselves. So what can I do for you? I have to help. <laughs> Thanks, sir. It's kind of a long story. Joshua and Estelle explained to Murdoch about the events surrounding the mysterious black ornament. I see, well then. Would you mind if I had a look at this ornament? Sure, no problem. Estelle produced the black ornament and handed it to the factory chief. Hmm, now this is certainly a novelty. It's obviously made from modern materials, but the caliber isn't described anywhere. Caliber? You mean the numbers that are carved into the ornament's frame? Exactly. It's almost unheard of for an ornament to be produced without them. That's not just in the rural either. Most other nations on the continent are the same way. It's been a tradition dating back to when the ornaments were first invented 50 years ago. Huh, you don't say. They still took out a combat ornament and I would it suspiciously. You're right. There are numbers here, right there. Crazy. Uh, you mean to say that you never... Oh, you hush. But seriously, is it really that strange for one to have no caliber on it? It's pretty much a part of the production process, and that goes for any orbital factory. It's as if this one were a prototype or something. If so, I'd imagine it wasn't made to entertain at birthday parties, if you didn't mind meaning. So, less with the sweet and awesome, more with the stabby hurty, got it. Of course, I can't say for certain without looking inside. What is it? Uh, I, I can't find the maintenance cover. And now that I really look at it, it has no seams to it at all. How the hell was this thing made? Hmm, I didn't see any way to check out the inside of it. Aw oh, man. Would it be possible to cut it open? That might work, yes. But I'd hate to just break something belonging to Cassius like that. Oh, okay. Maybe we should let that professor handle it. Oh right, the one mentioned in the note. Yeah, he should be able to tell us something. There was a note that was included with the ornament. Still should Murdoch the note that was in the package for Cassius. Please ask Professor R to do an analysis. You don't happen to know who this Professor R is, would you? Well, let me think. From the letter R and the people that Cassius knew, it must be Professor Russell. I thought so. Who's Professor Russell? Wait a second, how do you know this guy? I don't know. I don't, but I know of him. He's known as the person who brought Orville technology into Leroux in the first place. Hey, you know your stuff. As I'm sure you know, ornaments were invented by Professor Epstein, and Professor Russell was one of his disciples. Forty years ago, he brought the ornaments and his knowledge back, and that's why Leroux is a technologically advanced nation. You might say that he was the father of the Orbital Revolution. Wow, now that is impressive. Oh, sorry, Bass, I missed your message. Persona 5 is in two hours. Horus! That's a Persona! Persona! Cool. Well, I hope you, uh, have you ever played it before? Nah? Okay. Are they releasing Persona 5 on Steam? Or Persona 5 Royal? Very important question. Royal. Okay. Good. Get Royal. Man, I had no idea that Dad knew anyone like that. Even so, it worries me a little that you'll be letting the old prof uh, handle this ornament. You have no idea what it is, really. Huh? Well, how to put this? For good or ill, he's a certified genius. When he gets an idea for a new invention in his head, there's just no telling what he'll do. Much like the time when he was developing the first orbital airship. <sighs> uh, what's with the far off look? I guess that a lot happened. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm sure they'll be able to figure this thing out. Go find him and ask him about it. It can't hurt. Thanks, Chief. Where should we go to find him? There's no option, it's just royal. Good. There should be an option. Hmm, hold on a moment. Red off put the switch on the intercom. Testing, testing. Ah, oh, good. Actually, I've been looking for you. Sorry to bother you, but can you come here? Alright, I'll be waiting. What, did you just call the professor or something? Oh, no, no. He actually has a private workshop in town. He has all the latest technology at his disposal, so I, so I know he can figure out something about that thing. Wow, he really must be a genius. 
Wait, then who did you call? His granddaughter. She works here at the factory. I'm sure the child would have to show you the way. The child? Um, excuse me? What? You? Oh, Stella and Joshua? You mean that you know each other? Yeah, we only just met a little while ago, though. So then I guess that she's the professor's granddaughter? Exactly. Tita, I've been talking with Stella and Joshua here. I'd like for you to show them the way to your house. To your grandpa? Okay, I will. I appreciate it. Ah, yes. If you learn anything new, I'd love it if you, I'd love it if you came back and told me. As an engineer, I'm extremely curious to know more about this. Oh, sure thing. If you'll excuse us then. Hey, I didn't think you'd be coming. And you're the granddaughter of the famous professor. No wonder you're so comfortable with organs. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, come on. I'm still just studying under my grandpa. Oh, by the way, do you versus have business with my grandpa? Well, sort of. The situation is kind of complicated. You can explain everything once we see your grandfather. Okay. Um, my house is in the southwest corner of town. Get off the escalator and go straight until you reach the south entrance. Then turn to the west and there it is. I got it. Well, let's get moving. <coughs> Well, I hope you have fun with Royal when you play it fast. You're gonna love it, I'm sure. This is my house. Wow, nice place. Professor Russell's here? No, I think he's in the workshop. Through this door. We should go and say hi then. I'm home, Grandpa. Grr. Okay, maybe this way. <laughs> ah! Uh, so this is the professor? Nice to meet you. My name is Estelle Wright of the Brace Guild. I just came to get your approach, but I do not. Um. Got it! Ah, huh? uh -huh, it's finally complete. That's right, who's the man? I'm the man. Yes, I should start testing it at once. Whoa! What the hell? I'm sorry, Estelle. Grandpa kind of goes into a trance when he's working. He doesn't really notice what's going on around him. I think he just finished up the device he's been working on for the past few days. Oh, I see. He really is something. Oh, he's something, alright. I'm so embarrassed. Embarrassed by Daddy! <laughs> oh, wait. Granddaddy, even. There's some people who didn't talk to you. Hmm? Oh, TT, you come at just the right time. I need your help with compiling the data from these tests. Um, but Grandpa, the new invention will actually block a biosensor orbit's detection faculties. It emits a unique orbital force field that deflects the energy that a biosensor sends out when it scans. Oh, really? Yes, really. Since when do I overstate my own accomplishments? Now, come on, we've got testing to do. Right. So Russell and Tita began working with some complex equipment. Hey now, never mind Estelle, I think we should just let them be for a little while. Hey, you with the black hair. Who, me? Who else? On the upstairs bookcase is a notebook titled Orbital Energy is Applied to Force Fields. Go get it. Go on, be quick about it. Uh, Alright. Wait, Joshua? Hey, young lady, you with the antenna hair. Uh, antenna? Oh no, you didn't. Quit firing around and make me some coffee. Why should I have to make you coffee? Take a, I take a flat, by the way. I want it clear as mud. You're not hearing a word I say. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Yep, perfect. I'm sick, Grandpa. Just as fast as ever. Oh. Um, where is Stone Joshua? Who? 
Come to think of it, I do think we call a couple of young folks. Murdoch sent along some fresh faces to them, I presume. Grandpa. And so it's done, Joshua inadvertently wound up as assistant in the experiment. After many small but relatively harmless explosions and some singeing of the eyebrows, the day gave way to evening. Ah, sorry about all that. I just assumed you were both new employees at the central factory. So it's only natural that you wound up being drafted as assistants. It's no laughing matter. Especially since the only thing you had me helping was making coffee. Girls can bang metal parts together too, old man. Relax, Estelle. We've got some valuable experience out of the deal in the end. How often does one get to participate in startup tests on a brand new type of weapon, after all? Well now, you're a bright lad then, aren't you? Want to give up this bracer nonsense and start up in the field of orbital engineering? Grandpa. I'm really sorry, guys. I guess I got caught for the moment, too. You don't need to apologize. But I thought the father of oral revolution was going to be some really amazing man. A small fart with attention deficit issues. Oh, please, you're too kind. Moving on. So I'm being paid a visit by the children of Cassius. It's quite a surprise. Do you really do you know our dad? Yes, from way back when. I've known him since uh, his army days, some 20 years or so. I've met him too. He had really nice. He had the really nice mustache, right? Well, I don't know if I'd call it nice so much as suspicious looking. But if he's known dad for that long, it looks like we'll be safe in trusting you know what with Professor Russell after all. Yes, I have agree. What are you talking about? And what was it you wanted my help with? Well, just that explain to the professor the whole sequence of events around the Black Orbman. I see. Wow, pitch Black Orbman. Yes, most intriguing. I have no inscribed caliber or seams. Look at that frame, too. Professor Russell produced a cutting tool from his belt. Without word, he pushed the blade's edge against the outer shell of the Orbman. Wait, what are you doing? Is a special alloy steel cutter? Just as I thought. Here, take a look. Okay. Stell, Joshua, and Tito appeared intently at the blank Orbman. Huh? It's not, there's not even a scratch. The frame is made for some type of metal that I've never before encountered. Opening it up for a closer look is going to be quite the task, I think. That's just crazy. If we can't find somewhere to open it, we'll be right back to square one. Well, I could certainly spend some time on trying. First, I think that maybe we should put it under a measurement scan. Uh, what now? That huge piece of equipment you saw when we were working on the experiment. It can gauge orbital energy activity in real time. You're making my head hurt with your techno babble. Just tell me what you're using, what using that thing will accomplish. So to put it in layman's terms, it allows us to see just what this orbit does. We won't be able to draw any definitive conclusions just from measuring what kind of orbital activity it's, occur it's occurring, but it's a start. And that should give us a major clue. Indeed. So without further ado, Grandpa, shouldn't we have lunch first? Sure. So then Joshua, you're both welcome to join us. I can't promise it'll be anything special, but it sounds great to me. We'll even help with prep. Alright, come on then. I've got a bit to do while lunch is prepared. No, I want to see it too. No fair, I reckon when I'm around. Well, I'm not around. My house, my rules. What is up with these two? Now I see where she gets it. Fly me, she gets it, does she? <clears throat> now if anyone's ready, let's get this started. Stella, if you'll put the ornament on the stand. Okay. Like this. Yes, thank you. Are you ready, Tito? You all set? Good, good. Now, commencing orbital force measurement test on the Black Orbman. Black Orbman? So that's going to be the official name after all? But using it officially is so boring and simple. Why not something cool like Dark Thingy of Impending Doom? No, no. Simple is best. Anything longer than Black Orbman would just be annoying to say. Fidget, fidget. Oh, look at her. She's so anxious to start. Huh? Oh. Alright, let's begin. Tito, if you like to debate the scanner, please. Okay. Output set of 45. Put all measuring equipment on standby. Roger. Done. All measuring equipment is calibrated. Okay, from here on out, it's the real deal. Since no direct input or output was detected, all we can do is measure how the central crystal circuit responds. Let's see how much this contraption is really worth. You're sure in a good mood. And click. Neat, it's all glowing and stuff. I get it. It's putting a major strain on the circle crystal circuit. There, there. Tita, any readings? Y yes, but they're kind of weird. Hmm? The tachometer needles shake like crazy. Uh, now it's spinning around the dial. What?
Huh? What's going on here? Joshua? It's the same black light from before. What? Grandpa, it won't take much more of this. We have to shut it down. Don't you dare. Just a little longer we'll have something. Wait a second. All the lights in town are going out. Huh? Why? Well, we have no choice then. Terminating the experiment. Oh. They're back on. Oh. Let's see the readout. Nothing. It didn't record anything. The only thing that kept working was the scanner on which the black woman sat. But even that, well, as for everything else. Good, looks like the experiment's finished. How's it outside? Fine, all the lights are back, like nothing happened. Still a lot of people panicking though. Okay, but what, just what the hell was all that? That was what I would dub the orbital shutdown phenomenon. The what down? You mean how everything inside all the orbits just stopped working at once? So the black woman did this? Yes, I've no doubt. But I would never have dared to guess that its effect would be so extensive. Hmm, there's definitely more to this than I expected. Interesting. Most interesting indeed. Only you would think causing a blackout over an entire city is interesting. Professor! Ah, Murdoch. Just a man I want to see. The feeling is not mutual. Every single time you invent something, it means trouble for me. What the hell were you up to that would cause all of the power downtown to go out? How rude, it's not even my fault this time. See that there? That's the Black Orban, and it caused this. Is that the... Okay, I get it. If that's the root of this, then it's genuine extenuating circumstances. But it still means that this was your fault. Oh, nuts, he got me. That's it, they're just okay again. Are they always like this? This is so embarrassing. And so the first day in Zeiss kept everyone busy. Due to how late it was, Estelle and Joshua stayed at the lab for the night. Man, yesterday was such a crazy day. I was surprised enough at the town, but I really wasn't expected to deal with anything like that. <laughs> no kidding. Back on the subject of Black Orbman. It's much more powerful than I'd ever imagined possible. Yeah. What's the prof gonna do now that the with the Morning guys. Catch out, innit? Morning, Tito. I agree, mate. Good morning. Quite a big day yesterday. <laughs> no kidding. Did you guys sleep okay? Yep, like babies. It's Professor Audio. Oh, he left for the central factory early this morning. Yeah? He said uh, something about how he was going to expose all the Black Orbman's secrets. This game? Wow, looks like getting roared, o uh, roared at over and over by the factory chief yesterday didn't even put a dent in him. We really appreciate both you taking the time to look over something a couple of relatively strange to support you. Oh, that's fine, really. Grandpa's investigating it out of pure curiosity more than anything. I should go to the factory myself once I'm done with breakfast. What do you plan to do? Ashley will come with you. I want to know what's really going on with the organ too. Maybe there's something we can do to help. Yay, then you can come with me. Oh, almost forgot about the soup. Just a second, you two. I'll bring you breakfast since I make sure it's edible and not on fire. Um, does this thing have a steam workshop? Or is it like outside of steam that I have to do it? Because if that's the case, that sounds like a lot of effort. Okay, fuck that then. That's effort. I guess that's what smell. I guess that's what that smell is. But man, what a cutie! I wish we could take her back with us to Roman. She could be like a pet, cheering us up whenever we're feeling down. That's kind of creepy, stuff. Uh, 
And now that we've had a good breakfast, off to the central factory. Before we do that, I'd like to check in at the guild. I think it might be best to report on what happened yesterday, just to be on the safe side. Well, okay. Hey, Tita, would you mind if we stopped by there on the way? Sure, go ahead. Stop these nuts! Also, Bast, you need to tell me who you date in Persona 5. It's very important. Wait, is that a spoiler? Kasumi. That oh you you've already decided that's who you're dating, is it? I'm not sure. That's what you've been told to Oh! Oh right. Well, it depends if you're going to play the game multiple times or not. Good morning. That was some day yesterday, wasn't it? When you're ready, we'd like your full report on it. Business as usual, Killigan. I've heard the basics from the factory chief already. I'd like to expand that account with some first-hand details. Well... Joshua explain the details of the Orbital Blackout. I see. So the Orbital sent to Cassius in secret was in fact something dangerous. Guild is very interested in these developments. We need to continue working with Professor Russell for the present. We thought you'd say that. When we have more information, we'll contact you immediately. Contact these nuts. Am I right, Bast? High five. Yes. Hey to everyone, how are you? Professor Russell was in his workshop on the third floor. He seemed pretty impatient, like he was waiting on something or someone. Like us. Ah, another failure. Grandpa, we came to see if we could help. Ah, hello, Tito. And you two are here as well, I see. <laughs> what can I say? You were worried. So what are you working on? Well, you see, I'm trying to cut into the Black Ordinance, but it hasn't been going very well. Seems to be the problem. Perhaps the demonstration is in order. And click. Whoa, what's that thing? Circular saw. Made of a special alloy that can cut through basically anything. That'll do it then. Uh, it stopped. I thought that might happen. It's on a smaller scale, but it's the same phenomenon as yesterday. That should be basically go on. Um, you can pick whoever you want. Um, but you know, just uh, get to know the characters. You have lots of choices. There's no right or wrong answer. I'm just interested in what your answer is. It seems like the Black Orbman is blocking the functionality of the other Orbmans, interfering with them in some way. And I doubt it was solely made for the purpose of killing the lights. Yeah. But Grandpa, doesn't the effect spread like it did last night? Yes, good thinking. This interference with nearby Orbman seems to spread out, moving from Orbman to Orbman like chain lightning. I'd put the range at about 5 arg. You gonna give the milk teacher, but what stopped you? But if there are no ordnance powered on within that range, well, then that's where the effect stops. I see, that makes sense. 
However, even with that knowledge, there's no way to know when it, why it causes the machines to simply stop without getting a look inside it. It's very troubling. Is there any way to destroy the thing? Are you with a good scream and a really hard whack? Don't be ridiculous. Didn't you see the big saw do exactly nothing to it just a moment ago? Well, yeah. Anyone thought we'd try and fire? Maybe we'll melt down the blast furnace or something? If we did that, the insides would be melt too. Oh yeah, that was worth a shot. Actually, it might work. Really? You have a way to burn it open? That's not what I mean. Orbital power. That which drives organs to work can't be used for this problem. Let's find a way that doesn't rely on any orbital energy. Hmm. Is even such a thing? The combustion engine. It's a device that burns fuel to generate energy. The idea has been around for a long time, but it's very inefficient compared to a normal engine. However, all you need to work on them are standard tools. Huh, neat. I get it. Fire is the key. Grandpa, I've never even seen one of them. I'm pretty certain there's, uh, that there's one under study in the Central Factory Workshop. Oh, you'll need to get fuel as well. Like oil or something? No, it's called gasoline. It's extremely flammable. There's likely a tank or a canister of it stored in reserve. Hmm, yeah, it should do the job. I'll start getting the tools ready. I'll help. Is there anything we can do? I mean, I can't do anything super technical like Tita can. Well, you can go and get the engine and gasoline. It's going to be heavy, but you wish you were strong enough to move it. Okay, give it to us. So, where would we find these? Hmm? Let's see. Don't tell me that you've got I forgot. He just said not to say that. Uh, um, still. If you look in the operations room, you can probably find them. What the heck is an operations room? It's a room with a bunch of orbital computers. It's on the fifth floor. We store all kinds of information there for safekeeping. Wow, didn't even know there was such a place. Then I'll leave it in your capable hands. <sighs> Making coffee, fetching stuff. Well played, man. Old man, well played. Oh well, let's go find this operations to the room thing. To the fifth floor then. <sighs> wow, check out this place. This has to be the operations room. Hey, you two. I haven't seen you before, so you mind telling me what business you have in here? My name is Travis, senior engineer and supervisor. Nice to meet you. We're with the Racer Guild. We're here at the request of Professor Russell, so... Professor Russell? He's not in trouble again, is he? Again? You really don't have much faith in him, do you? No, I mean, I realise that he's a genius. He was the one who developed the cable unit, after all. Even being acquainted with him results in no end of trouble. Tito, on the other hand, is an incredibly sweet girl, but just an all-round good kid. <sighs> yeah, I get what you mean. But I don't think we have time to stand around talking in this case. We need to find where the central factory stores his equipment. Oh, is that what this is all about? In that case, go right ahead. I'll show you how it works. This cylindrical device is the type of computer. It's called the cable. These days, they mostly get used to assist in airship navigation. But this one is equipped for the fastest general purpose data processing in the world. It can be used for anything from calculating material density to information retrieval. Now, for information retrieval, you have to use this front panel to select that mode. That will send the signal through to the wiring and allow you to access the memory organ. There's a quartz inside that trains a uh, rapid light pulse on AC. Then it simply extracts the data you want. So let's just you know how it works now. <laughs> no sweat. Yep, no sweat. I'm impressed as hell. You're way better with modern technology than I am. Okay, so I lied. All that stuff went completely over my head. Why <laughs> is this out? You changed the mode with this panel. I'm sure you'll figure it out in no time. Blah, 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 blah. Combustion engine. Maintenance cheese. Gustav. Looks like the problem we're looking for. Wow, it's like a magic box or something. Oh, computers are really something. As I understand it, Professor Russell's teacher, Professor Epstein, was blocked. 
It is Professor Russell's talent that made him an idea into reality. <sighs> Plenty his presence of mind were on par with his intelligence. <laughs> well, Adios isn't one to bestow two blessings on one person. By the way, where can we find the guy who has one of those combustion engine thingies? I mean, it's chief, right? Where is he? He's currently overseeing the airfield, so you have to go there to speak to him. Also, the gasoline is likely in augment manufacturing in the basement. Talk to the staff there. I'm sure they'll have, be happy to get it for you. Maintenance Chief Gustav is down at the airfield, working on a combustion engine. And the gasoline is in the basement augment, in the basement augment manufacturing. Yeah. Thanks for being a big help. I think nothing of it. Let me know if you need anything else. Okay, let's go to the basement first. <laughs> you know. Guy is he? Try and ask in a friend's room too much. Guy, just can't concentrate. Oh. Excuse me. What's that? May I help you? It's done just to explain the task set to them by Professor Russell. You gasling? I think we've got a tank of it back in storage somewhere. I'll check for you. I use the intercom. This is fake. Got a request down there. You still have that tank of caliber gasoline there in the warehouse, right? Can you send some down? Yeah, enough to carry. Thanks. Let's send some for you right now. Sending? Holy. There we are. Is this gasoline? That's what sending is. Neat, isn't it? This conveyor belt system isn't just for ordering goods. It's an entire network that connects the whole facility. Convenient. Professor Russell invented it. Originally, it was just a series of tubes for sending products back and forth. But the professor completely rebuilt the system into something a lot more useful. Of course, getting all of the infrastructure in place was a gigantic pain in the... <laughs> I can only imagine. We have to be on our way. Thank you for your help. No problem. Don't know what you're using it for, but be careful with that gasoline. It has a tendency to fireball. Um, uh, okay. Right. To the airfield. Which I'm guessing is out this way in the landing port. Ah, oh, you need a flight. Like westbound. Airship just departed a few months ago. No, thank you. We don't need an airship right now. Actually, we need to talk to Gustav, was it? You mean the maintenance chief? He's not here at the moment. What do you mean, not here? He went to Laston Fortress two or three days ago. Some kind of repair emergency on a military patrol ship. Laston Fortress? As in, the largest base in the blood, up in the north part of Zeiss? Wonderful. He won't be coming back from there anytime soon. So what do you do now about the press request? Don't know anything about that, but the chief is actually on his way back. He just sent word to us. Oh, hey, airship. Speak to the devil. Since when are public airships orange? No, it doesn't look like a very public airship. Shape is wrong and it's got work arms all over it. Now that you mention it, that's a central factory vessel. It's the same model as the public transports, but it's had several modifications. It's used for large scale maintenance and transport. Huh, a flying factory. Then the maintenance chief is on the airship? That's right. That's your chance. You talk with them, no? We do. Thanks a lot. Yes, thank you. Oi, chief! Hmm? What do you want? Um. The is a mountain of parts stored in her. It's dangerous to stand clear. Actually, we're looking for someone. Is there a maintenance chief by the name of Gustav on this ship? What do you want with me? Oh, well, that's convenient. Still, so explain that Professor Russell had asked him to find and borrow a combustion engine. Ah, you're running errands for Russell, are you? 
the combustion engine up. Well, you got good timing, I'll give you that. Huh? Hang on a second. Does he actually have one packed onto the ship? Looks like it. There you go. It's a heavy beast, though, so be careful. Wow, yeah, well, you weren't kidding. We can still manage to carry it. Huh, you got some spirit to you, for such a young girl. I like it. Thanks. It's a pretty interesting little coincidence. That old fart wants this thing right after I got it back from the military. Huh? From the military? Yeah, this thing was on loan to them for a little while. They were using it for some kind of research. As a matter of fact, I only just got it back today. Huh, lucky for us. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Now that we've got what we need, why don't we take it back to the professor? Sure thing. Thank you, Mr. Maintenance Chief. Sure, sure. Give my regards to the old man. Central factory. Oh. If I could do that. Oh, what did I just click? What am I doing? Finally managed to make a prototype. It's just been waiting for testers. All I could do in the meantime is some fine tuning of the insole. Um, excuse me. We came because we saw you posting on the bulletin board. Ah, you're finally here. I was getting a little tired of waiting. My name is Terry. I'm a researcher here at the Central Factory. I'm a staff racer in training. I'm Joshua. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Getting straight to business, I have a task for you. Do you schedule <gasps> Allow for it? Yes. Sure, let's see a problem with it. The quest said you needed help with testing a new style of sneaker. Do you give us a little more detail? Oh, certainly. But first, here. Alpha Strega. Is this your new kind of sneaker? Yes, the Strega Corporation is conducting research on new projects to bring to market. This particular test requires you to wear these prototypes around in various places. Upon the successful completion of this test, all that will remain is to put them in production. Hmm, I see. Hey, just a second there, buddy. Did you just say the Strega Corporation? Uh, yes. So then, this new line of sneakers. Yes, it's the Strega Corporation's newest product. Can I just say this? Oh, great, adios. Thank you for bestowing upon me, or us, this magnificent job. Uh, you were right. By the seven prayer. Don't mind her. I still something of a sneaker collector. Move more to the point, she pretty much adores the Strega brand ones. Oh, so you might say she has sneaker mania then. I was just a little taken aback by her reaction. Estelle, would you snap out of it? I get that you're excited, we have work to do. Oh, <clears throat> yes, you are correct. Hmm, well, you certainly have spirit. a scary amount, in fact. So we do the test? Please don't pray at me again. Yes, absolutely! See what I mean? It's alright, please proceed. So we'll take on the job. But you want us to wear these shoes everywhere we go? Yes, that's correct. From the Elmo Spa to the Wolf Fort, all the way to St Sank Time Gate. When you feel you've tested them out properly, bring them back to me. The layer between the sole and insole is my responsibility, so I have to see how it holds up. <coughs> Do you need us to report back to me with the chance? That at least. Let's see if you can wear them out. Just leave it to me. If you'll excuse us.
Wait, they're terrible. Guess I don't have a choice. What was this called? Make sure. easy enough. Um, I'm actually going to go progress the story first. I'm back. I mean, what were you asked for? Excellent. Thank you. You're not kidding about how heavy this thing is. Yes, your brute strength was most useful, girl. Perfect timing, too, as I've just finished preparing the tools. All that's left is to set up the engine and put gas in it. If you'll go and put on the finishing touches, Tito? Yes, sir. And it's all set. Wow, this thing is really clunky looking. Are all of these engines like this? Yeah. It converts the energy given by burning gas to power the tools. So this way, they don't need orbital energy. Indeed, now that's not dawdle, let me flip the switch. And click. Jeez, this thing sure makes a racket. Definitely a lot louder than all the engines. That's one of its drawbacks, yes. I doubt we need the fear of activating the black orbit this way. Let's get started. Whoa! That's some serious sparkage. Okay, shut it down for now. We've seen how much physical punishment it can take and how much punishment our ears can take as well. So I know this crowd around to get a closer look. A tiny scratch is faintly visible. That, that's it? That's incredible. And with a special alloy saw too. Whatever it's made of is tougher than anything I've ever seen. But if we keep at it, I believe this will work. We're going to go through quite a few saw blades though. So it's going to be a real test of patience then. Hey Professor, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, you already finished the modifications? Of course I have. Who are you talking to? Anyway, what is it? Something wrong? I just received a message from the hotel in Elmo for you. The orbital powered pump that supplies the hot water for the spa is broken down. It says they can't make any money like this. They'd like for you to come and try and fix it. Oh, you must be kidding. Damn it, of all the times for this to happen. If you're that busy, why don't you send another engineer over? No, that pile of junk is at least 40 years old. The younger techs have no idea what to do with anything that's not state of the art. No, a lot of pain. Grandpa, maybe I could go over and do the repairs, you think? Hmm? Tito? You took me there to help with maintenance before. I think it'd be fine if I just go. Hmm, I'm sure you do a fine job of the repairs. That's not what concerns me. Agreed, they're monsters out on the roads. We can't just leave Mr. Mal like this. That's the problem. Why don't you let us handle this? Huh? It's a bra brace's duty to ensure the safety of the rails and roadways. Therefore, seeing that Tito arrives at her destination safely is our responsibility. Well, that's another story. If you're all with her, then we don't need to worry. Hmm, alright then. Thank you. Um, are you sure this is okay? Don't worry about it. Kids shouldn't sweat the details so much. If you're ready, then let's go. Thank you. Thank you both. Okay, Grandpa, Mr. Murdoch. We'll be back soon. Take care, dear. Careful out there. Careful, these nuts! Am I right fast? High five. <sighs> okay. I'm just gonna stop there for today. <sighs> so I feel my throat hurting from all this t talking nonsense. Ugh. I love you all. Look after yourself. Stay hydrated. Enjoy your rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your day last evening, and I'll see you tomorrow for maybe.
Alaster. Depends on what the guys are up to. If not, we'll play more Trails or on December. Or maybe I'll stream some Tower of Fantasy, I don't know. Either way, for something, I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy. You know what? You know what? You two for regular updates. You two do my outro. What? Did you just do it? No, I'll do it again. My phone's going to do it. Alright. Discord! Go there for memes! Also, updates! There's a YouTube channel, that's where the VODs are! Buy shirts, merch. Yeah? Don't it's forget her. To if you don't like Discord, there's a Twitter. Fill out the form. <laughs> <laughs> this, this form will send you to your grave. Sign it now. Fill out the form to get your permission slip to go to Chernobyl. Daddy's brand <laughs> sauce is coming all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Rate five stars back in 2007. Make sure to visit <laughs> someone else's. Make sure to visit www.com. <laughs> Could you repeat that one? That's www.hhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh